What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we're here at the Nerd Castle with one last episode of Mountain Blade Warband. That's right, this is gonna be our final run- No, I'm just messing with you guys. I'm just being a dick right now. I'm feeling jovial. It's the Christmas season. So anyways, this isn't gonna be our last episode. I just wanted to see you guys fidget and panic a little bit. But that's kind of weird because I can't see you fidget and panic at all unless you link me a YouTube video of you fidgeting and or panicking. Jarl Nudar, in between episodes, so I had told you before that I might handle a little bit of our biz in between episodes. Nudar had summoned us, but alas, he cancelled the quest, so I'm guessing he got rolled out on super hard. We need to get back into the fight, and so what I'm calling this is this is Operation Tummy Rubs, because we are still attempting to recover. It has been a long journey, and we still haven't achieved our former glory. We're still kind of running around with a little bit of a scrub force, which is not good. We need to be able to defend our kingdom, so let's head on out this way. And I think we're doing okay right now. Let's follow Jarl Gearth around, or Girth, or whatever the hell his name is. I can never pronounce his name. We'll sort of just keep an eye on him for the moment. And wherever he goes, we shall go to. We'll be like a lost puppy. It looks like he's heading out to... Oh, I don't know. Let me look at my faction reports and figure out who we're fighting with here. With vague ears. Okay, well, we're not in too bad a shape. I mean, we've got... Let's have a look at our party composition. We've got a lot of Nord Warriors, and we are accumulating veterans. We do have a strong force. It's not all over for us just yet. We've also got a pretty good team. Where'd they go? A Vigir Marksman. So we've got a decent ranged force. We've also got a really good melee infantry force. And so now we need to start thinking about maybe going in opposite directions with our forces. So let's continue upgrading our recruits. I hate going into battle with recruits. They're awful. They smell. They're always crying in the middle of battle, writing those sad letters home to their parents. You got to get them battle hardened and ready to kill. What's he got? I'm always nervous now about starting off any of these fights. He's got knights. He's got marksmen. But everything else isn't so terrifying. I think we could take him. But he's gonna hide in Ray Vodden like a little weeny fussy pants. Never mind then. Wait, who is this? Ooh, Turigor. Is it tu What? Isn't Turigor one of our lords? Oh, uh, no! Oh, you don't want to fight now either, huh? Well, let's see what you have first before I give up on this endeavor. Let's see, horsemen, infantry, footmen. Yeah, he's probably dead. No. Well, I didn't want to do that either. You guys are playing shady here. We will fight you to the end. Yeah. Okay, so there is our super badass army, which hopefully will be able to hold its lines. I'm going to deploy here on the opposite side of this hill to force their archers up onto the top. Everyone should be able to take that position without any sort of encumbrance. And then I would really like my archers to be right here. Now, I don't know if he's going to fight this thing classical mode and sort of hang back. See if yeah, there we go. Get the archers spread out a tad. We've got nothing but marksmen, which I'm really, really happy about. Our marksmen tend to do a lot of damage. Now there is a debate running about whether you should go with bow archmen. Or, I'm sorry, archmen. Whether you should go with master archers from Vagiers or whether you should go with Rodok sharpshooters. Now, undeniably, Rodok sharpshooters are one of the strongest ranged units in the game. However, their firing speed leaves something to be desired. They do fire pretty quickly, but they can't machine gun at the rate that your marksmen can. I mean, the sheer ridiculous amount of fire a marksman can put out. They do a little bit less damage, so it's kind of like using a plinky little Uzi instead of using a sniper rifle. It just sort of depends what you want out of your troops. I'm going to have to rotate my forces over to that side because he is trying to fight this one out classically, which is disappointing. I was hoping we could get this over with quickly. I think I'll also... There we go. I'm going to move my archers too. Hopefully we start seeing some casualties along the lines. Boyar Turigor, I need to go handle him, so let's see if I can run him down. Delivered deer- really? That's pretty piss poor. And since we're being skirmished with pretty aggressively, I think this might be the time to send everybody in. You guys know me, I always prefer to make this as efficient as possible, I don't want to end up losing any units. Ooh, and we took an arrow to the arm or the ass, I can't decide which. I, can, I get my anatomy mixed up. Oh, Turigor is off his horse and he's over here fighting with my archers. Okay, well... You serious right now? God. He was over there just causing havoc. Just wreaking all kinds of havoc. Which is very different than wreathing havoc. Wreathing havoc is what you do around Christmas time. Which I suppose... I don't know if they have Christmas in Calradia. I hope they do. Christmas is pretty awesome. I love this Morningstar. It doesn't knock people out, 
but it does do a lot of damage, and that's going to be a function of the fact that it uses piercing damage, which pretty much ignores armor for the most part. At least the way that I understand it. So we've won our first battle. This is the first step in Operation Tummy Rubs, and so we're doing pretty well. We lost 10 guys, though. That's disappointing. God, that is a downer. And we didn't even capture the guy. I will take all of his archers. Because we need to sell some guys into slavery, make a little bit of money. We've also got some equipment to move around. We need to start paying attention to inns, too, to make sure that we're getting the proper mileage. I need to get all those units back, basically, that we lost. Since we lost a couple archers... Oh, they're not going to allow me to recruit. All right. Well, I'm going to have to wait till we're not at war with them anymore. We may have to fill in with Nord archers for a little bit, which will be lackluster, to say the least. Good. As I had hoped, that is going to... While we did lose a couple of our little guys... That should allow me to really make a net positive, or at least I hope a net positive. Let's see, we've got, oh, Vagir Horsemen. Sure, why not? Let's make some Horsemen. We've never done any Vagir Horsemen as of right now. I don't remember being too impressed with them as I played through the game, but we'll take a couple of them. What's the worst that could go wrong? They could get killed, and then that's that. So we came out positive, I think, on that. We're a little bit down on troops, but at the same time, we do have a bunch more veterans and a couple more Huskarls as well. We didn't see any of our archery troops bump up to marksmen, which is disappointing, which means we have a loss in our ranged troops. But we'll try and... Well, I'll square the circle with that in just a little bit. Let me grab a couple more units from here, and we'll allow them to start leveling up while we're fighting. God, everybody's giving me these little singles. Everybody knows how terrible this war is going, and nobody wants to get involved anymore. They're like, no, sir. I just want my turnips. That's all they want to do is just stay home and pluck those turnips. Well, sir, you will not pluck turnips. You will pluck the scalps from our foes. You will take them out with raiding. Okay. Now, we've got our force back and replenished. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I see you rolling. Oh, God. There is a veritable dog pile occurring over at Sargoth. I think, I don't know why you're running right now, we could totally take them. You guys need to stop being weenies. I'm willing to bet that I could take both of those. Well, he's got a lot of Lancers, maybe not. That guy, oh, he's got a lot of Lancers too. And Horse Archers. Ew. So, uh, Gurlad, you want to jump in on this thing, or are you just going to like let this happen? This encroachment. I'm going to try and cut him off right now. Oh, okay, so he kind of crossed the T right there. I am feeling sort of frosty about this. We do have two guys that would supposedly jump in on this battle, but he's got 10. What does he have? He's got just about nothing, so he's not going to be incredibly useful in the battle. And they do have a lot of horsemen. 27 there, 30... He's actually got 54 horses, and he's got easily another 37, so that's going to be mostly a cavalry battle. Yeah, I'm going to back off of it for right now. I think it might be a good plan to go get some Swadian Knights or some Serenid Mamluks. I don't really know my way around the Serenid tech tree, though. I don't play them very often. Well, that might be a good excuse to go down there and get some of them. Let's do it. Let's go down... Actually, I should probably save my game, and we should do some raiding. Let's raid Berglund. And we'll make a little bit of cash from doing this to help us recover from our last deficit. Once we're back in the black, we should be able to cue the ACDC, get back in there, and kick some ass with our newly found <laughs> discretionary income. Alright, that's exactly what I was looking for. Lots of stuff that my units can't eat. I mean, they'll probably try and stick this stuff in their mouth like babies just to begin with, but once they figure out it burns and it doesn't feel good to chew on velvet or whatever, we should be alright. I'm gonna leave the pork because it goes bad. And I'm also gonna drop some of these helmets because, honestly, I would way rather keep some of the other loot. Made a little bit of money there. Let's make our way down to Serenid territory. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll go down to Serenid territory and... We'll get a feel for the Serenid Mamluks. I like them in combat. I think they're a very good cavalry unit. I've never personally fielded them. And I think that's... A, we're doing a lot of stuff that I've never done in this playthrough. And so that's what I'm going to try and stick with. There's a tournament here right now. But I'm no good at any of the tournaments that require you to have horses and javelins and all kinds of crazy shit. It gets confusing and I can't handle it, you guys. I just can't handle it. It exacerbates my asthma. 
We'll turn that all over. God. Make a little bit of cash. Yeah, just pay whatever you can. I don't really care that much. Is my horse lamed? My horse is okay. Good. Gotta make sure that Wiggle Chicky 2.0 is alright. Doing some quick math in my head to see what I can get away with on these sales. Not quite there yet. We're probably going to have to hit another location. Let's check the tavern down here to see if any of our guys have been released from captivity. And if they have, we shall invite them back to our forces. They aren't going to be happy about it, though. They're going to be grumpy. They're going to be like, you let us get captured. Meh. And I'll be like, well, maybe you shouldn't have fought like a punk. Maybe you should have got in there and done some crazy ninja stuff. Let's sell off some of our huntsmen, and we'll sell off those archers. Sehr gut. Much better. I've also got a lot of guys to upgrade, but I'm going to let them sort of just pile up for now. Whatever. Go down to Peshmi, and we'll grab our first couple. I don't know what the tech tree is going to have in store for us with regards to leveling these up, so I may take a couple wrong turns before we go too far down the tree, but I'm willing to bet it'll probably be designated fairly obviously. We can't recruit from there for whatever reason, so we'll go down to Shabalzuma. Nothing there either. What about Tamna? Let me recruit from you. Did we just declare war on them or something and it didn't tell me? No? Why is recruitment locked down? Well, we'll sell off the remainder of our goods here at Dur Kuba. And I'll keep the butter, I'll keep the food, the dates. Dates are delicious, by the way. I love dates. Of all kinds. Friday night dates, dates in your shake, the little raisiny type dates. I like them all. They are all amazing. Dates on the calendar, too, I suppose. That is a word that has a lot of usages. That thing is getting around. We need a new helmet. I just noticed our helmet is way overdue for an upgrade. I mean, it's got really good armor, which would explain why we haven't upgraded it yet. I don't really want Lamellar. I'm going to stay away from most of the Lamellar gear because it just doesn't tickle my pickle. I just don't like it like that. Lamellar, we can be friends, but beyond that, I don't really want this relationship to go much further. I don't want you on me or in me or anything. Well, let's continue cruising around looking for some friends. This is very weird why they won't let me recruit. Mawidi. I love that city. I've never even been there, but I like the idea of Mawidi. Let's hit Amarad. There's a farmer. Okay. Well, we'll do his quest. What is the matter, my good man? Very well. He's at Midget. Let's go check out Midget and see if we can help. There it is right there. Let me upgrade my troops before we jump on into the battle. Three new veterans freshly spawned. I like to think that as I upgrade these, they die, and then just randomly this guy shows up in my camp the next day. Artemenor's got some level ups to go with. We'll deal with him in just a moment. We've replaced one of our marksmen now. And Kurgit skirmishers. Oh, well, was I recruiting from Kurgit? That's weird. I guess the borders have been redrawn. That's disappointing. I'm going to disband all them because I don't want any Kurgits. Kurgis just don't do it for me. I'm going to split those in half and just do some Huntsmen because we do need to continue bolstering our ranged units. And then down to Midget to save the townspeople from the desert banditos. Oh, they're forest. That's weird. Why are there forest bandits hanging out here? This looks like an amazing spot for archers, so I'm going to leave my archers on that hill. Everybody else can join the battle from over this way. Give us a little bit of cover to hide from the enemy arrows to keep ourselves from being well feathered or well sticked. Let me get my mace out. A lady interested in self defense should always have mace. It's funny because it works through time periods. Down he goes. Try to point blank me with a bow? What is that? Alrighty. It's going well. I see nothing but farmers dying. 
and that's exactly how I wanted to stay. If my units are dying, this would just be way too much of an expenditure for me because I don't care about civilians that much within the context of the game. I guess if they gave them personalities or funny hairdos, I might. Or maybe a wide selection of cute hats. That might work for me as well. Or if they replaced the villagers with kittens, that would definitely force me to care. Are you for real right now, Fence? Are you for real? Well then, I didn't want to come over anyways. <laughs> he did like a little jump strike off the back of a wagon right there. He's getting his Jason Statham on. Jump whack. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Damn it. I don't want your pottery. To hell with you and your pottery. Oh, I'm so upset with myself right now. The city of Ab. It's got a great gym membership system. Bad jokes away! Usga! Reminds me of a song from Veggie Tales where they're singing about their lips. Usta. That place is taken over by banditos as well. Well, I suppose I shall free them from their bondage. We're just going to spend our entire episode whacking bandits today. Play whack a bandit. Never really liked whack a mole that much. While we're on the subject, going to arcades. I always spent loads of money on Time Crisis now that I think about it. That damned red bullet. That red bullet was a heartbreaker, just causing me all kinds of pain and suffering. No, horsey, wiggle, checky, no. Off with his head. Off with his head. Ooh, we just went straight, like, gladiator on that guy. It's like the beginning of gladiator where he chops that guy's head off and the sword sticks in the tree. That was a pretty badass moment for me as a kid. I won't try and fade that accomplishment. I was like, I need to go outside right now with a sword and a bike, and I need to do that to somebody right in front of a tree. But then again, maybe I'm just a homicidal maniac. Luckily, my parents didn't keep sharp objects around the house because they knew I was special, so... The idea was not instantly accessible to me. It was something that I would have had to work really hard at. And then I went through that phase when I turned like 20 where I was like, I'm gonna buy a ton of weapons. And so you just buy like loads of medieval weaponry and you have no clue why. And so now I just have an entire closet in my house that's just full of medieval weaponry. I don't use it, I don't take it out, it's just sitting there. The battle is over. We have lost a trained footman. And one of our warriors, that's okay though. Let's get some honor and we'll get some more serenade villagers on our side. Looks like there's a feast at Hell Beggy. Please don't attack me, other lord. I'm really just trying to recruit your people to come fight for me. I'm trying to make them... You guys have a lot of bandit problems. Let's clear this place out, too. I'm doing a lot of good deeds for the Serenade Empire right now. A lot of good deeds. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. Oh, I thought this was somebody's house. Like, everybody else has those crazy stucco houses. This guy's got to live in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's the village tent smith, then it makes sense. He's like sabotaging his own business by living in a house, so he just refuses to do it. Oh, these are mountain bandits. Oh, I don't like where this is going. These guys have javelins. Eh, don't stab me! Hey. Alright. Point well taken. You're tougher than the forest bandits. We get that now. But don't make me bring out the mace. I'm not even sure what's happening right now. I'm sort of just trapped in a battle tent. Well, at least my troops managed to handle their business while I was stuck in the tent flap. We lost... Oh, we didn't lose anybody. Cool. We shall continue to endeavor to get more honor. It's just me... Oh, God, we are spending so much time clearing these locations out. Please note that this will have the opposite effect. While you're clearing villages out of bandits, something to think about is that it makes the lords that own those cities very, very upset with you because they feel like it's their duty to save their citizens or ignore them with impunity. A few more Huskar... You, there we go. We're starting to get a baseline force. We're getting back into it. We're almost there. Operation Tummy Rub is not going so horrifically. Serenid recruits, you shall now become footmen. I wonder if you have to go the skirmisher route. I bet you go the veteran footman route. I'm not positive on it, but I'm I'm almost sure that nothing terrible is going to happen if we continue upgrading them with regards to their melee combat capabilities. Their capabilities. Let's head on back up to our own territory now. I don't think they're going to give me any more units. 
Yeah, it seems like there's not a whole lot left for us to do. We might start raiding a bit more, though. I'd like to get a nice little egg. Just a nice investment egg going in our back pocket. Because it seems like they are on the offensive right now. Let's check Dirum. Dirum is almost siegeable. If we had 100 guys, I would give it a go if most of them were high-tier troops. Let's hit Ushkuru. And once we've got Ushkuru all nice and cleared out, we'll head back up to the north into our own territory. We'll start helping with the defensive actions. I think Sargoth might be lootable too. We may be able to take it back. The fact that we're taking quite a nasty offensive from the Vagirs right now is going to negatively affect us for the foreseeable future. Oh, we got spices, furs. We can make some crazy Viking-looking armor with lots of furry bits on it. Little feathery rabbity... I don't know. I, I'm just rambling at this point. Sometimes I just run out. I hit the end of the trail and I'm like, you know what? I should probably stop this right now. I'm just going to start stammering. Which is, that seems to be the indicator as to when I've run out of things to say. I actually, I don't stutter, but I start just being like, um, um, well, you see, it's dreadfully. I just, I just don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh, you just messed up now, homie. Belgaru, you are mine, unless you've got a bunch of horsemen, and then you will clearly outrun me. Let's go help Bulba. This may be our last offensive action for the... Oh, he's trying to ride out. He's trying to be hard right now. Okay, I see how it is. Let's do it. Oh, you want to turn around and run? Okay. He thought he was hard until he saw it was coming down the pipe. And this time, instead of me grabbing the pipe, it's going to be you grabbing the pipe, my dear, dear friend. My horsey, no. He got shot right in the forehead. That ain't right. Well, I guess if you're trying to put him out of his misery... He's been shot in the ass twice. That one looks dreadfully close to his... Lovely little horsey poopy hole. I don't... I'm getting ready to send him home. He's done his service. He has fulfilled his draft. <laughs> Ooh, that was so close. That one was toeing the line right there. I think those marksmen only want me. So I'm just gonna run away. Oh, God. I'm not seeing a huge amount of opportunities to sneak myself on through and take somebody out, but I will get my revenge slightly. Sir, you will not scimitar me. I knew a guy for a long time when I played World of Warcraft who called scimitars scimitars, and no matter how you tried to convince him otherwise, he just wouldn't back off of it. It was just scimitar, scimitar, scimitar. And at a certain point, after a few years, I started to wonder if he was just trolling like he knew that's how it was pronounced. Initially, I have no doubt that he was completely misinformed about how to say that word, but down the line, I think he made the connection and just started messing with people. Veterans. Well, we help Boba out, which will get us... Okay, so 2 to 7. That's fine. He also has a Rodok Sharpshooter. We've reached our capacity, though. Well, let's get rid of some of our terrible Nord archers, then, to make room for him. Captured three knights. Definitely a money-making unit. Vagir guards and marksmen. So everything there is going to be worth a nice little fistful of change. Let's go with the footman and see where that leads. Where did he go? There he is. So there it is right there. So he can become a serenade horseman. That's what we're working towards at the moment. I'm going to try not to field them until I have... doesn't look like I have that many, though. I'm going to only have five or six. So I may consider recruiting from Swadia as well. Oh, we got a lame step charger. That's not very nice, but I've told that joke already. He's not lame. He's just socially awkward. Come on, you guys. Leave him alone. And since they're all now plaguing my territory... It looks as though we are running them off, however. Oh, Tanju, you just came out at the wrong time, buddy. Okay, so let's wipe him out. We lucked out, and the enemy didn't join his cause, which was what made me really nervous about all that. Leave the archers right there. And we need to group up quickly, because he appears to be making a charge. So let's have our infantry group up. Oh no, horsemen, no! Don't sacrifice yourself, noble horsemen! Ooh, I saw that right at the last second. So now, the only course of action for me, anyways, is going to be to try and rejoin my lines. Although, if they're behind me right now, that's not going to be possible. I 
Okay, so our lines aren't broken. God, that came up. I've probably got like two HP left. It's looking a little bit hectic on the HP bar side for us. I saw that couch lance because it's nighttime. I saw it just one second too late. Hopefully that didn't kill my horse. I, I'm going to be very, very irritated if I have to go buy a new horse now. These archers are not doing me as much good as I was hoping they would do. That battle was looking bad down in the text, but maybe it didn't turn out as terribly as I think it did. Six men down, only wounded. Okay, nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. Tanju escaped, but we did capture one of his lancers. We've also got another lame step charger. A balanced hafted blade. That thing looks straight terrifying. That thing is gangster. I may swap out my bastard sword for a mace so that I can knock people out and take captives. We'll take the hafted blade, I suppose, as well. That's like the most generic name ever, a hafted blade. It literally is what its name is. How, rare do, how rarely does that happen with regards to naming things? That guy's going to try and run me down. And so, I'm going to dodge him. We're going to break off the episode here, and then we'll figure out our machinations for Sargoth in the next episode. I'm not really at the point with Nords where I can convince anybody to follow me around. Ooh, we'll jump in on this bat. Oh, no, maybe we won't. Well. Yeah, he's got a lot of horsemen. Those armies are really, really advanced elite units, so... Let's talk about it in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for another splendiferous episode of Mountain Blade Warband. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I apologize for deceiving you in the first couple seconds. And, of course, I will see you tomorrow. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.